Hi, welcome to this Fusion 360 quick tips tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna quickly cover some important practices for Boolean objects, creating your first Boolean object and aligning your Boolean object to a surface. So first thing, let's just look at my Boolean library. And what I do for all of my parts is I put on a glass material because that way it's easier to see where I'm placing it. So let's place one and that way you can see why it's helpful. So I'm gonna go to my uh, align tool, which I have hotkeyed in the design shortcut menu, the S menu, the S key menu, but you can go to modify and align. So let's go here, let's click align. And we're gonna wanna click, you'll see that depending on where we click, different things will get highlighted. The orientation of this white square determines what you're gonna be snapping on. So we're gonna snap from this face and we're gonna make sure that objects under the align tools, we're gonna to set that to bodies and we're gonna change that. We're gonna select this face over here so that our, our object gets aligned here, this little kitbash piece. Now you're gonna notice, first of all, it's flipped. And so that's a problem, it's upside down. We wanna Boolean it when they're interpenetrating. So we're gonna hit flip here and you can also change the angle, you know, so you can rotate it around by 90 degrees. So in this case, we're just gonna flip it. Awesome. So now what we need to do is scale it. And what's important about scaling is if we go to the modify panel tool, we can click scale. What's important about scaling is that you scale from a point that is on the same surface or coplanar to the point that you're booleaning from. That way they stay aligned as you scale it up. Awesome. So we scaled it up, hit enter just to cancel that action. And I'm gonna move this around. And so you can see that having it be made out of glass, just default, you know, makes it way easier when you're trying to place it on objects. You can see where, it, where it's gonna be in relation to other parts. So let's just place this here. And we're gonna just uh, go to our combine menu. I have it hotkey to shift C, but you can go here to modify, combine. Click the object you wanna Boolean from. Click the object you're Booleaning with. And you can click keep tools, so that way you can use that Boolean again later and just move it out of the way. So this is typically the workflow that I'm using for Booleans. Uh, there's a bit more advanced, you know, things in, on this topic, but in this case we're just going to cover the basics. So, alright, now let's quickly just go and create our first Boolean. So, the whole point of a Boolean object is that it's basically a negative or the opposite of the shape that you want to create. So for example here, you can see that this is the opposite space, the opposite shape of this thing. And so if you're new to Booleans, that's the most important thing. Uh, yeah, so in this case, I'm going to do what I would do normally. I'm just gonna model a piece of a detail that I would want to put into something. Let's do this really quick. And I'm going to be thinking about uh, you know, adding a few extra bevels in. So let's say I place like maybe five or six of these on a design. I don't have to go do those bevels by hand later. But it's also important not to make it too many bevels or else it might slow your, your modeling process down since Fusion struggles with too much. All right, so I'm just gonna make some generic whatever sci-fi detail. Some random quote unquote cool shapes. And finally, let's place a little tiny extra detail here. And yeah, we can just do this. Nothing unique, nothing special. And I'm just gonna mirror this really quickly. Awesome, all right, cool. So let's just delete this and then we're gonna make our object uh, for booleaning. All right, cool, so this is our Boolean object, and let's say we wanna put this op this uh, detail over there. So we're just gonna make a mold, basically. And you know, if you've ever uh, made anything out of clay, you know, it's basically the same thing. So we're just gonna make a new body, and it's gonna be a box right here, and we're gonna pull this up, and this is gonna be the top of our Boolean. So we're gonna take this object, and we're just gonna subtract this object below, and now, all of a sudden, we pull that off, and now we have a Boolean object. So we can scale this down. 
And then we can use the align tool again. And we can place that here. And we can rotate it as well. And we're going to put a translucent material or a glass shader on it. Uh, so that we can scale it down. Move it. Boolean it. And done. So that's how you create a booleans in Fusion really quickly. You know, there's a lot more advanced topics like managing booleans, doing component booleaning, booleaning between uh, projects, as well as doing booleans with positive shapes. Uh, but this is the basic workflow, and I know that there, one of the things that, you know, if anybody who works on Fusion is watching this, uh, you know, Moe 3D has a much better system for copying and moving booleans across the surface. And it's much quicker, and if Fusion 360 got that, that would be a huge step forward in making it really friendly and quick for concept artists. So, yep, if anyone's watching, I'm going to be posting more videos like this, and you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.